Good morning. Today we start the NC500. There's my book. Don't know how I'll read it all, but uh, there's a lot of interesting things in there. Um, so we're going to head up to Inverness now. And Mrs. Slaw just uh, have a word. So we camped last night at uh, Loch Ness Shores Camping and Caravanning Club site. Um, it's a really nice little site. Uh, we had a hard standing pitch. Um, one of the most expensive sites that we're stopping on this trip, £27.50, I think it was for the night. Um, really good shower blocks. Uh, they are open and the toilets. Um, so I've had a shower this morning to wash my hair because I don't like to wash my hair in the motorhome unless I absolutely have to do because I'm terrified of clogging up the pipes with uh, all the hair shed. Um, point to note, they are unisex toilets and showers. Doesn't bother us because uh, we're used to that in France and as you'll know if you've read my earlier blog, we should have been heading to the south of France but um, Covid stopped that. Loch Ness Shores campsite does offer quite a lot of other things as well, lots of activities. There's den building, um, nature, safaris, highland walks. They, they cost extra but, uh, but they are there if you want to do that. They've got a bistro on site that are serving um, takeaway evening meals and breakfasts at the moment. We, we didn't do that um, because when we arrived last night it was still torrential rain so we cooked on the van. Could have walked up to the pub. There is a, a pub a 20 minutes walk up the hill, but um, it was raining and it is still raining. Uh, it's been pretty much torrential since we um, left Beatuk yesterday morning. So Mrs. Slaw's new waterproof trousers will be coming into play at some point. As we turn the corner off the site now, you can see there's a lovely view of the lock. That would have been a cracking pitch that that uh, Citroen van is on there, but unfortunately we didn't get that one. Um, and these little glamping pods have got lovely views over the lock from their tables. They do have fire pits there that, that the glamping pods can use, and apparently down on the shores there are fire pits for the campers to use as well. But this is only a one night stopover, so it's a site that we would like to return to one day. Okay, in the next, let's go. I get a view of the lock now, yes. Bit choppy out there today. I don't fancy a swim, Mrs. Slot. I have not, it was it, but uh, oh, it will drop you here. <laughs> not a problem. In you go. Drop you here, you can dive off that cliff. Yeah. A little bit of excitement there. Just seeing our first red squirrel in real life just ran across in front of us but we had no chance of, of getting it we're off in the trees we also did see one that was 10 pence short on the road i.e dead but um yeah we haven't even started yet brilliant we're just coming up to inverness castle now I can't see it because it's on your right. So we're going to have to try and go right then. There's your castle. it down with nowhere to park so this is where we start we're going from here
so we're on it. The NC500 starts here. Have you done your trip? No, but I will do. <laughs> you might be able to see the castle again because we took a little diversion because uh, we put wrong postcode in. And then we nearly got written off by some stupid motorhomer who had an indicator on and decided that we're going to go straight on. So anyway. There's the castle on the hill. Yeah, yeah, and the, the trees. trees. <laughs> Crossing the Caledonian Canal. There's a big boat there. Here we are, at the Glenord Distillery. This is slow taking photos. So test. That's the test. That's the test. They all taste different and they're made in space size, also owned by Diageo. But the idea is that there's three single things to three different areas for different species. Are you excited to go? It's got a bit of a spice to it, mm -hmm. so it does give a little bit of a kick and it coats just the back of your mouth as you swallow. 
15 is um, predominantly the bourbon cast, where it's 50 50. So for me, this is my favourite because I get a lot of vanilla notes and flavours mm. coming through. Which one's that, the middle? The middle, yeah. yeah that's the one. And then the 18, obviously, I'm not expected to drink this fast and just tell no, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm having a sniff here. And then the 18 is two thirds sherry, one third bourbon. It's the same ratio as the 12, but older, it's lovely and smooth. Mm, yeah. Very, very chocolatey. The smell that's smooth. Caramel flavours, hazelnut flavours coming through. Yeah. Well, okay, that's so what I'll do is I'll let you just go through them at your own pace. Yes. I'll kind of see how you're doing, and if you have any questions, just give me a shout. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Right, well, we're at 12 then. This is the 12. It's large. Yeah. I'm smelling them. The 18 small for the one that I think uh, I might like the most. Mm -hmm. So that's the one I would count on there. Right? Yeah. And then this one is the. That's the 15. Yes, yeah. yeah. 15. It's smooth. It's smooth than that, yeah. It's a lot smoother than the 12. Mm. Definitely. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so far. Um, <coughs> I've taken that over the 12. So, yeah. yeah. You can't go today, yeah. Well, I'm not going to try it. 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 I'm not
I'll go back to that in a sec. I'll have to be carried out. <laughs> yeah, that's the one for me. Because then you want me to drink it? Uh, no, sorry, yes, I didn't mind you drinking it. I gave it to you. Um, if I was a whiskey drinker, which I'm not, I'd go for that one. Good. <laughs> I'd go for that one. Excuse the sweet. We're just leaving Glenord Distillery now, and we're off to Rogi Falls. But yep. we just watched the Formula One in the car park, and Hamilton won. A good race. Good race. Three, two red flags. Two red flags running. So let's get up to Rogi Falls. See what we can find. Okay. On the road to Rogi Fall. Starting to look a little bit interesting now. Starting to look interesting that. So this is a path to Rogi Falls on the blue markers, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, this is the Riverside Trail. Yeah. This is three quarters of a mile and takes about half an hour. Wow. Have they got cables? Don't lose your bits over here. It's a long way down. Not the good cables. Well, that was Ruby Falls. Quite spectacular. I didn't see any salmon. Um, I think it was too rough, to be honest. Took the lens to see him, but um, way too rough. That's Lake. What is it? Lake? Lock Caron. Lock Caron. Lock Caron. And we're on the Wee campsite. Pitch number one. And it's raining. Again. Okay. Wife's got tea on. Tea. Yep, we're having um, salmon with peppers, onions, and potatoes baked in the oven with a bit of uh, lemon drizzled over. Oh. Beautiful.
plobbing it. And Slaster got his beer. Happy days. Bit of Moretti. <laughs>